Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today, we are going to discuss Maharashtra's state counselling process. You can visit this website for more information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Maharashtra. As you can see, there are 68 colleges with 10,845 seats in them. You can take a look at the map and have a better understanding of the distribution of the colleges throughout this state. Here you have the list of government MBBS colleges. This is list 1. Please note that AIMS Nagpur and AFMC Pune offer admission only through All India Quota. The state quota is available in the other colleges. In addition to that, Please note the names, locations and the number of seats in these colleges. This is list 2 of government MBBS colleges. List 3 of government MBBS colleges. This is list 1 of private MBBS colleges. List 2 of the same and list 3 of the same. Now we will look at the BDS seat matrix of Maharashtra. As you can see, there are 38 BDS colleges with 3626 seats in them. Please take a look at the map to get an idea how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Here you have the government BDS college list. Then you have the list one of private BDS colleges. List two of the same and list three of the same. Again, please do not forget to note the names, locations and number of seats in these colleges. Now, let's look at the 2023 MBBS cutoff marks of the government colleges. This was for General, EWS, OBC, SC and ST. Please note that there is 30% female reservation in each category. Now, here is same for the private MBBS colleges. This was for General. OBC, SC and ST and then the same for the deemed universities, General, OBC, SC and EWS. Now let's talk about the different quota categories of Maharashtra. The government medical colleges offer 85% of their seats under state quota and if you take admission in these colleges, you will pay 94,000 to 1.6 lakh rupees per annum approximately. Now what about the private medical colleges? There is state quota 85% and the rest goes to, to the institutional quota. Now if we talk about the fee in the private colleges, for general the entire course fee will be 35 to 45 lakhs approximately, for OBC it will be 20 to 25 lakhs approximately, for SC, ST and NT it will be 1 to 5 lakhs approximately. Now, if you want to know the further quota distribution of these colleges, you should look at this chart. Now, let's talk about the different steps of the counselling process. It first starts with online registration or application. The link to the website has been given. Next step is publication of merit list, then online choice filling for round one, allotment of seats, then you report at the allotted college. Next is eligibility criteria. For the seats reserved for the localites of Maharashtra, the candidate must have the domicile certificate of Maharashtra. The candidate must have passed the SSC which is 10th and HSC which is 12th from an institution situated in Maharashtra. Remember this is an open state so students from other states can also take admission in this state even after exhausting the 15% All India quota. Now let's look at the list of documents required for the counselling. Qualifying examination mark sheet and certificates 10th and 12th, NEET UG mark sheet, domicile certificate if applicable, category certificate EWS, OBC, SC, ST if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs and then government ID proof. Now we will talk about the scholarships. Yes, the state offers scholarship and there are various authorities who do that. So there is tribal welfare department which offers scholarships to scheduled tribe. 
Then there is Social Justice and Special Assistance Department, which offers scholarships to scheduled caste. Then there is Vimukta Jati, Nomadic Tribes, Other Backward Class and Special Backward Class Welfare Department, which offers scholarship to VJ, NT1, NT2, NT3, SBC and OBC candidates. Then there is Medical Education and Drugs Department, which offers scholarships to economically weaker section. You can visit this website for more information on the same. Now let's look at the service bond here in Maharashtra. You have to serve the government for one year after completing the medical course or you will have to pay 10 lakh rupees as penalty. We have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counseling process of Maharashtra. Thank you for watching. Thank you.